So this is my 1985 Bass Nautique. It's, uh, well, it's not in the perfect shape, but uh, it is 30 years old, so you can't expect too much. Uh, I got it a few days ago. Didn't cost me anything, so I figured I'd uh, have a go at putting it back in the water. Uh, I was going to do like a full restoration on it, but uh, they only made these for like, I think it was like two years, maybe three years. So parts for it are almost impossible to find, it's got no seats. So I'm going to have to make my own I think, or oh, now I'll just take some sand plates and uh, have a look at a few old pictures and see how they go in. I know they kind of wrap around here a little bit, in fact, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see an outline where the seat used to be. So it's almost like a bucket seat. Fairly square, so it should be pretty easy to do. I'm guessing anyway. But if I do it so it's removable, stick a bit of Velcro strip in here or something just to hold it in. I got the cooler, lid is missing, but a bit of steel, make that up. Uh, everything else looks alright. I mean, the locks on the hatches are all frozen up. But the hatches themselves look alright. The, uh, the trolling motor, I wired this up so I know it works. I'm not sure about the controls like, but uh, the motor in itself actually works all right. Um, the outboard, well, that's how I got it. So, I'm not holding much out for this, this thing. I've got the prop. I took the prop off so it didn't get damaged. But, for now, I think I'm going to assume that it's goosed. I don't know. I'll take it off. I, I made a stand earlier on this morning. So uh, I'll take it off and stick it on the sand and uh, check the compression on it. Try and, you know, rig it up so it'll spin over. Check the compression. If it's got compression, then um, I'll have a go trying to get it going. As you can see, the transom is goosed. There is nothing left of it. I'm figuring that's why the outboard was taken off in the first place. But uh, what I'm doing, I've already taken the rub rail off. I got that sitting in the back over here. I got that over there. It's a bit hard, so I'm going to leave it in the sun, see if it'll uh, soften down a bit. But that ain't going to go on for, oh God, a few months. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the motor off here, the trolling motor, uh, take the cap off, and basically have a look at the hull, see what it looks like, do any repairs, obviously fix the transom. I think, I, yeah, I'm going to have to do like a resto mod on this. So I'll, I'll do a few little change ups. I think I'll change the dash, get the dash more of a, a curve shape thing going on. I might change this lid as well. I don't know. Whether, whether to, I think the original one had like a flat lid and then it had like two cup holders on like a, like a cushion affair. I don't think it was a cushion to sit on, but it was just like a, a padded cup holder sort of thing. So I might make that out of fiberglass, maybe wrap it in carbon fibre, I don't know yet. Uh, the wiring, wiring seems to be there. I'm probably going to end up having to change that and rewire the whole thing myself anyway. But, uh, oh it's on the original uh, Correct Craft trailer, so that's a bonus. And to be honest, for 30 years old, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Uh, the fenders are okay, obviously needs painting, but uh, everything else is there. The hull looks alright, there was a, I think there was a little scuff just on the keel right there, which I'll have to repair, and I'll probably put a keel guard on it. But uh, as far as like bilge pumps, and I got a live well set up in here. This, uh, I guess it holds water, there's water in there. But as far as the plumbing goes, I have no idea. So. Again, once I take the cap off, I'll have a look, see what the plumbing's like on it. Repaint it all. i got to do a repair on the back here. Apparently what happened was uh, the previous owner wanted the gas tank out of it. So instead of taking his time and taking it out the right way, he decided to cut a friggin' big hole in this here and just tear it out this way. So all this I'm going to have to repair. And I found the stainless steel louvers that go on the side here, like the breathing vents on both sides. I found them, so they're going to go back on. Um, get myself another gas tank. 
Right, I'll have to have a look back here. Doesn't look too good in there, but then again, it doesn't look that bad either. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen a hell of a lot worse of boats put back on the water, so I'm sure I can do this. <laughs> I hope anyway. But that's it. This is a, I guess you could say this is officially day one of the restoration. I've given myself 12 months to do it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to rush this, you know. Every, every now and then, a couple of weekends here and there, I'm going to work on it. Uh, main thing is just to check the hull, get that cap off, have a look at it. But uh, I can't wait, I can't wait to get it on the water, see how it goes. Looks a beast of a craft. It's supposed to have um, like a handrail on here. I can see where the holes were, where the handrail went. Doubt I'm ever going to be able to find that. If anyone's watching this video and you know where I can get a hand for a handrail from, damn, put it in the comments. Let me know, because uh, other than the seats, I think that's probably going to be one of the hardest things to get. The screen, I can make. I just get a bit of plexiglass because I'm going to change the screen up anyway. I'm going to change this dash configuration anyway. So I'm not sure whether I can change the the slope here, but. I kind of want to build it up here a little bit. So I'll probably smooth all this off at the back and then have the screen coming up sort of flared up like this. But I'll make that myself, you know, I'll, I'll get a bit of quarter plexiglass, heat it up, mold it round, put a, a bonding strip on it. I think that should be all right. But that's like, that's going to be one of the last jobs to do. Uh, I was talking to somebody on a forum where they know they can get the stickers, the original stickers. So that would be pretty cool. I'd like to get it stickered back up. And I'll probably paint it the same scheme with the stripe and everything and the pinstriping. But I might change the colour. I think I might change it to blue, like a, a deep metal flake blue. I don't know. I like blue. Favourite football team is Everton. That's real football with a ball on your foot. <laughs> Sorry, my American friends, but there you go. Uh, yeah, so I'm in Everton and their, their kit's blue, so uh, I think I'll do it blue and white. But that's it for now, and uh, I'll post some more as I get along. As I'm starting to take the cap off, I'll post there. I'll do a video when I'm taking the cap off. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. All right.